What is the main obligation of your life? According to the Bible. But you know, what is the ultimate demand of Jesus and his disciples? Can he bear something whom he likes and so forth? What did he tell us? Come, follow me. Israel. So your vocation in life is to follow the Lord, not man. You are enlightened people. I have, I'm very happy they have a wealthy and a healthy man in worship. But stop running after apparition. <laughs> Most of them are frauds. Mm. It's, it's so, you know, the, there is an apparition. Everyone knows that. That's I met a young priest who said to me, <laughs> Bell Father John. He was a nice fellow. But he was in that movement in Melbourne, you know. He said, you have to see this part. First we tried to cast the power, it didn't work. <laughs> then we tried Jesus, it didn't work. <laughs> then we tried the Holy Spirit, it didn't work. And now we will try Mary, it didn't work. <laughs> I looked at him and said, what kind of religion do you belong to? This is not, this is inborn tendency. And I can understand it. I was in the bishop's conference for years, once for one year, two years in that commission to examine this thing. We had over 500 a year. And everyone claimed that this was Jane Julian. So never mind. <laughs> this must be the Vatican. We have to analyze all these things. And he was, at that time, was John Paul II. And there was an interesting thing, he was, John Paul II was a pope. He was most of the time out of the Vatican. He was in his bed. And he was, there were a lot of bishops to be appointed, but the man was appointed to us, pope was there. And he had all these Marian apparitions to him. And then he said to me one day, he said, Father John, he said, I'm a, I'm so honored. Every morning when I wake up, I have a special prayer to God. A special prayer. He said, how does it go? He said, the special prayer to God goes like this. Dear God, please keep the Pope in Rome and keep your mother home. Because we have to do with all the opposition. Keep your mother home. I know not have so much work to do. Never mind. So, here, the possible Well, I would like to show you that is why today, in the age of time we visit, it, particularly in the presence of all the enormously growing sectarian movement, we have to go back to the center of our faith. What is really the core of our Christian? And to enjoy it in three slices. Jesus put, put everything he had to bring and to reveal into two different <laughs> And that's the two pieces. Your car is in the heart. You see, 
my God in his life. The brain back here. Brain back. No brain back. Don't forget the brain back. The brain back. That is going behind you. That's not the problem. What is the God of your heart? That's all I want to know. The God you live in. Think the God to you. And living in the ground are difficult for this. Most people have a distorted, at times hopeless, with the thought image of God in their daily living. And this image is put in human expression in the word Abba. And that God of Jesus is the most revolutionary achievement that ever happened in the history of religion. It's the God image of Jesus. Many have forgotten. That's number one. The second one is, you know what? What's the second phrase or word of Jesus? into which Jesus everything shines, everything we have to communicate. Huh? Well, what did I come? Kingdom come. Kingdom come. Kingdom come. Kingdom of God these place that Jesus used all the time to say what he was about. Where, where he left it. That was what he was talking about. We talked about the kingdom in the last 30 years. The kingdom of God. They are good or hate of God. Do you see that you have a comparison? This first kingdom of God appears 162 times in the New Testament. 144 in the Gospel. And 92 times on the lips of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. We use the word kingdom of God. 